So in today's video, I'm gonna show you some basic bodybuilding exercises. Well, I call them bodybuilding exercises, but you'll find them in lots of other strength training routines. Uh, but I've been using them recently during with the bodybuilding program I've been playing around with. But I'm gonna show you some exercises that you can use for your upper back to help support your posture and your shoulders. Now, here's the thing to think about. With jiu-jitsu, because again, I'm making this video for mostly for jiu-jitsu people and, and a lot of people who maybe are just starting to dabble into lifting. When you think of jiu-jitsu, it has some things that it does to our body that it is not ideal, okay? One of the things that you think about, or if you think about with jiu-jitsu is, we develop really strong uh, biceps and really strong pec muscles, right? Because we're always squeezing everything. If I grab a leg or a body for a takedown, I'm squeezing it. If I grab an arm bar, I'm squeezing it. If I'm putting someone in a rear naked choke, we've got to, everything's squeezing together. And then if you think that the posture that our body puts together, if we're in butterfly guard or seated guard, our back rounds. If we're laying on our back, playing a guard position, our back rounds. Playing different positions, we always have our elbows sort of tucked in, so you can't, again, my shoulders are always kind of pulled forward. They're never really, your shoulders don't really go back like this necessarily. Now, that's fine for our sport because we have to do it, right? The problem is with it is that this position, walking around with your shoulders lunged forward, with your shoulders sitting out of like out of alignment like this, is not good long term. And so, if you've ever had like some jacked up shoulders, if you've ever been like, oh man, my back hurts, and you think you need to stretch it, then some of these exercises might be useful to you, as they have been to me for eliminating some of those issues. Uh, so let's jump into the exercises, and I hope these are useful to you. All the exercises I'm going to show you are really simple, and most. I think all gyms that you go to, any normal gym will have all this equipment and it's nothing weird that you'll look awkward doing. So the first thing that I'll, I'll use sometimes is band pull parts. Very simple exercise. A lot of times I do these on days where I'm doing pushing exercises like a, a press or a overhead press or whatever to help lock my back into place. Because a lot of times if you want a good strong like bench press or whatever, you need to have a good strong back to press off of. And so these are really simple. You grab the, the band at the desired length and then we're gonna lock our shoulders back and then pull back and get a good squeeze. And the idea is that right in between my shoulder blades, it's as if I'm trying to squeeze something together between those, right? I like to get a hold there, come back nice and slow. Back and forth. And again, this is just strengthening the upper back. Now, on a day where you're really trying to like load the weight up and get stronger, there's some different exercises that you're probably familiar with. One of them might be the uh, what, reverse fly, like rear delt raises, where we get down in our position here and we pull up. Now again, especially for if you're new to lifting and you've been doing jiu-jitsu for a while, start to really get in tune with the way your body's positioned. So for instance, watch the difference between these. If I go down like this right here and I'm just worried about swinging the weight around, that's one thing. But I can also lock everything in place and really lock these shoulders down and then go, boom. And really focus on hitting those muscles. I'll show you a way to really load things up while supporting that in a minute. Another exercise that I'm sure you're familiar with is a one-armed row. Very common exercise, right? So we get over here like this. I've got my position here, and it's a basic exercise right here. For hitting the upper back, one of the exercises I like to do, one of the variations of this is I like to do a pronated grip and pulling out here just a bit. It's a bit different. So instead of pulling here to the lat, we're just gonna go out to the side, same thing and go. And again, when we do these, not that. It's not just swinging and slanging the weight around. Lock it in place and do that. And what that's doing is while you're strengthening up the upper back muscles, you're also having to support everything, which again, that's pretty tough in the beginning, where if you're not used to doing that, you'll notice through doing some of those exercises, like, man, that's exhausting. Now, another way that you can do these is with a chest supported element to them. So you can find a bench, sometimes they have machines for this thing, but I find this is really useful if I'm really wanting to put more weight on these, uh, these particular dumbbells or the, these exercises and my, my body's having trouble supporting it. From here, and, and also just as a side note, I felt like when I first started doing these some years ago, I felt much better about being able to really feel my back when I was doing these exercises opposed when I was doing them normally. Because there really is something to being able to feel your body and get in tune with what your body feels like and what you're actually doing. So from here, we wanna lock in the position, 
get the shoulders locked in. Okay, we're not, shoulders are not rounded forward. And then we can pull up and do the same thing. Same exercise as before. The only difference is we're using the chest supported element and you could go a little bit heavier if you wanted to because you're not having to stabilize it with your core. Same thing with the, the rows here. You can do rows from a chest supported position, like right here again, locking everything in place and even with this pronated grip going back and forth. And again, that chest supported element will help allow you to develop the you know, strong muscles, allow you to really load it up while not having to stabilize everything with your core. Again, it's good to stabilize, stabilize things with your core, but sometimes it's nice if you just want to load it up without having your shoulders round forward because the weight's getting heavy to use the chest for that. Let's look at a few more exercises and uh, that you can do. So if you've been to the gym, right, a weightlifting gym, you've probably seen like a, a rowing machine, mostly, most likely probably use one at some point. So something I get some of my newer jiu-jitsu guys to do is get used to really locking their back in place when they get on the machine. Now, um, there are times where you don't want to do this, and this is true, but for the purposes of what we're trying to get out of it, it can be useful. So here's what I'm doing. When we get here, you watch guys where they'll let everything round forward. You can see my back right now, everything's stretched forward, and then they'll pull right here, really round the back out. Now there can be a purpose to that, but what I like to get guys to do, especially because a lot of people, when you, when you go around your gym in jiu-jitsu, you'll probably see everybody's posture just folded over half the time. And so another thing we can do to help strengthen those back muscles is to first pull out and get in a locked position here. Get our chest big. And then from here, when we're pulling back, really focus on getting that squeeze between the shoulders, locking back. But notice I did not let the shoulders round. I'm keeping everything in place so that as I'm moving, I'm really focused on the back. And another thing too, when you do these exercises, really slow down especially if you're new to them, really slow down and focus on the actual the muscles that are being used. Like I can make this a real straight up just a bicep lift and I can feel my biceps working, or I can really slow down and really think about pulling my elbows in. And I can feel that in my lats and my back muscles way more than I do my biceps. And so again, a lot of times our body, it'll do what it needs to do. When you do an exercise, it will typically use the strongest muscle that it can to just do the work. And so if you get in there, your biceps are probably gonna be nice and strong from pulling, doing jujitsu, and it will use those muscles over and over again. So really slow down on the exercise and make sure you're trying to pull the elbows in if you're doing the row. And again, keep the back locked in place as you're going. Let's take a look at one last leg exercise um, that also will help work your back as well. So let's take a look at the RDL, the Romanian deadlift. Great exercise, I love it. Uh, we'll hit the back of your legs, glutes, hamstrings, all that stuff. And uh, again, really great exercise. Also gives you a nice eccentric stretch. So for some of you that have tight hammies, this can actually be a great exercise for stretching those suckers out um, with a load. Now, watch the two ways that I'm gonna do this. And I just want you to see if you notice anything, all right? So, first time. Number one. Number two. Should notice a subtle change in my back position. I'm flexing my triceps and really locking my back in place. And as I'm going, I can feel my back pulling into the side and it's stabilizing the weight. And when I do RDLs, I try to do them um, slower. And right now I'm doing a little bit, not high, high rep, but a little bit more towards the bodybuilding rep schemes. And one of the things I've noticed is when I do them that way, I'll feel my hamstrings and everything else, but I also can feel my back working. And again, I want that because I want to have those muscles in the back to get that same sort of stimulus of being squeezed back together. So then again, instead of me walking around like this all day long, I'll get done doing some of these and boom, I can feel my, my body get back into a better alignment, which again is gonna be better for you long-term with your health and everything else. Because again, for me, you know, as I'm 36 now, one of the things I'm really focused on is longevity. I like competing and I like 
doing all that stuff. I like rolling hard, but I really want to make sure that my body is healthy and can train for a long period of time. And so one of the things I'm focused on is making sure that my lifting supports my body when I'm off the mats. So anyway, just a few ideas to share with you guys. I know the video is probably pretty long, but um, next time you are lifting weights, hopefully you got a few tips from this that you can kind of throw into the mix, whether it be a specific lift, uh, an adjustment or of a lift, or just simply bringing some attention to those upper back muscles and back muscles. So this way you can strengthen those up and help fight against those really tight pecs and uh, biceps. And uh, yeah, so hopefully that video is useful to you. I'll talk to you next time.